Second group, four-year-old children. <laughs> what does a four-year-old do? They live in the moment. They don't give a damn what anyone else thinks. And they keep going at things until they get the result they're after. Anyway, little James is four years old. He's got a Nintendo DS. You've seen them, the little kids, they love their Nintendo DS. Do you think he can read the 64-page manual in 20 languages that comes with that game? <laughs> of course not. He can't read one language properly at that age. So what does he do? He plays around with it. He finds something that works and he continues to do it. His little man dies or he loses the race and he thinks, oh, I won't do that again. He continues to do more of what works and less of what doesn't work until he can play that game perfectly and master it absolutely perfectly. But when we see that in a child and a child will give us one of those games and say, mum, dad, auntie, uncle, you have a go of that. And you go, load of old rubbish, I don't know why you waste your time with them, and throw them back. Because, for some reason, when we grow up, we forget about the learning curve. We don't like other people seeing us not able to do things perfect first time. We forget that we need to be curious about the results we're getting. We need to do more of what works, less of what doesn't work, until we get the results we want. We all had that mindset at four years old but we've forgotten.